Hey friends, welcome back to Putting Up With The Pom Pons. We are a mother-daughter YouTube channel where we showcase and discuss everything about our natural hair from the way we style and care as well as giving you hairstyle inspirations that are quick and easy to achieve with minimum effort. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to catch our weekly videos. I know I am lying on the weekly. So all of my returning subscribers, hey mama, hey bestie, hey friend. It's nice to see you once again. Let's get into today's video. So I am styling my youngest daughter, Calista here, and I have have not posted in a like blue moon it has been a hot minute life definitely got a little busy a little overwhelming that seasonal depression was kicking in and I just had a lot going on and uh, I let my YouTube and my Instagram kind of like fall to the wayside though I regret doing those things sometimes you know the family comes before all and I'm gonna make sure they taken care of before anything so I am definitely behind when it comes to the uploads. So right now I have a Calista here getting styled. I'm gonna be showing you guys three ways that I styled her hair back in December. I know we in a whole new year and I'm talking about last year. I know I hate that it happened, but I have the content and I'm gonna post it. Somebody gonna wanna see it, right? You know, so here I am just styling her hair. I am using the Shine and Jam conditioning gel. I love using conditioning gels on my girl's hair. They help moisturize their roots with the oil that's in the gel. Um, and the hold is great. It is not like a edge control gel. Um, and for me, I prefer not to use those because they can get really flaky once they've dried, especially if the product stays in for longer than 12 hours it definitely starts to turn white and look flaky with the conditioning gel I never experienced any residue it leaves her hair healthy and shiny and that's what I love the most about it so right now I'm creating these three little braids right across the front of her head and I'm adding in these red beads and the point of this was to make like a Christmas tree look kind of thing going on if you can grasp where I'm going with this so the remainder of the hair that we I had parted aside from the back of her head we're going to create a ponytail and I'm connect all those beads together and we're going to add a pretty little bow on top and the bow is supposed to represent you know like the top of the tree you usually add a star but I didn't have a star which is surprising for me because I am a hair clip hoarder okay especially with having three girls so I wanted this one to be kind of you know fun and a little bit different although I did not do my usual as far as posting Christmas hairstyles last year. I know I'm really upset at myself, but when I say I was just so uninspired and just so tired and really just trying to get a hangle on my regular regular life, okay, I just could not come and give y'all the content that I know a lot of y'all have been asking for and missing out on. And I apologize, but I'm gonna still post it just because I want y'all to see what we've been going through for the past month. So I debated back and forth whether or not I wanted to just pull all of this back and make it a ponytail, but I decided to go with the half up, half down, kind of a little bit, just a little bit, right? Because her hair is short, as y'all can see, Calissa has experienced a haircut from the last time that we posted a tutorial here on our YouTube channel. We cut off a good six, seven inches. Homegirl had hair damn near to her waist and back back in September and October all those months where I was just overwhelmed and just completely did not have time to do their hair I decided to cut her hair plus I wanted it to bring back her curls a little bit the length of her hair was definitely weighing down her curls and boo has such fine hair that long hair just you know it, it's great when it comes to styling but when you want those curls to be popping the short hair definitely brings out the curls a lot more and i just love short hair on little girls so this is the second style that i'm going into this time i'm going in with the design essentials leave-in conditioner the almond and avocado this is a very strong smelling hair product so if you do not care for all the perfumes in your hair product i do not recommend the design essentials um but it does work well especially as a detangler and since she is freshly washed i love to use this right after she's been washed 
so i did a part going across the crown of her hair from head from ear to ear and i'm going to be making small sections and rubber banding those off and i'm using again that shine and jam conditioning gel this is my favorite gel again can uh, any really almost any conditioning gel there's rarely that i come across a conditioning gel that i do not like but this one is definitely my fave the hold is amazing and i love the shine that it gives her hair so i'm rubber banding this off using elastic rubber bands those are the only kind of rubber bands i use on Callista's fine hair um, and they work great for her when it comes to elastic bands if your hair is thick do not bother you will do nothing but piss yourself off okay they will pop and break they cannot handle that kind of thickness so for Callista, these are right up her alley so i did leave just a little bit of room because i didn't want the rubber band to be too tight on her scalp because i wanted to go in with this little tool that kind of like loops the hair through and creates like this cute little knot in the back it's not as defined as I thought it was going to be and that's probably because Calissa's hair is wet and again she does have fine hair but I was gonna go with it because I had already did one so you know I was gonna have to do the rest of them now once our hair dried you definitely could see it a lot more because her hair is wet and I slicked it down with that good old conditioning gel you can't see the knot as predominant as I would like you to so I did five going across and then for the back of course I'm gonna let her rock her curls since her hair is shorter I don't feel a need to have to throw it in a ponytail all the time as long as I do something with the front where it's not in her face she's perfectly fine with wearing her curls out in the back and i'm going in with this boar bristle boar bristle brush that i purchased off of amazon and all of these products accessories and everything that i use on my girl's hair can be found on our amazon storefront which is linked down Turn. below in the description box Turn okay now so before we continue i do have a little survey i want to give you guys real quick because i'm trying to decide how i want to go with posting videos this year so usually with my tutorials for my girls hairstyles i do about three styles per video especially for Callista and kaylani because their hair gets done more frequently than myself and my oldest daughter kalia so do y'all still like the three hairstyles in one video or would you just rather see one style at a time you know I just I'm kind of curious I just want to see what is best for me as far as uploading um, if I do what one hairstyle per video of course that helps me stretch out content so that would be a helper but if you prefer the three styles per video it's not a big I've been doing it that way so it's not a big problem I'm just wondering I'm curious so let me know in the comments below whether or not you would prefer the one style per video or you're okay with the three styles per video so with this style the last style for this tutorial i'm going in with the pretty strands hair products i'm going i went in with the leave-in conditioner earlier which was the spray and then i went in with the buttercream to add moisture and now i'm finishing off with the all about curls foam and this is a very lightweight foam that's great for scrunching and defining curls without having that crunchiness so it's a soft as fine not a hard one i'm slicking down her edges again using my favorite conditioning gel and i'm adding my bows and accessories because my boo bear loves her bows i did zap her a little bit with the blow dryer because it is cold outside and i don't believe in sending my kids outside with cold wet hair pretty sure that causes pneumonia at least that's how i feel about it and we are done with this tutorial guys and i really do love booze curls like the shortcut definitely fits her and it just looks great it really looks great i love it but i'm gonna allow her hair to grow so out this is probably going to be her yeah. first and only cut i know a lot of people get upset when you cut little girl's hair but she really did like it and the curls look amazing well thank you guys for joining us on another tutorial we will see y'all on another one be blessed and be safe